Today we have with us Mayor Stephen Phillip, Public Safety Director James Shea, Director of Police Tawana Moody, Chief of the Department Michael Kelly, Chief of Staff Captain Michael Gajewski, Executive Officer Captain Nick Skirbo, <clears throat> Support Services Deputy Chief Daniel Saletti, Deputy Chief of Patrol Robert Gutch, West District Commander Luis Vustris, South District Commander Peter Veltri, Captain Nick Flora, ESU Captain Vincent Wolian, Captain Mark Miller, Internal Affairs, Captain Pete Lagas, Investigations, Homeland Security OEM Director Walter Kears, Fire Chief Stephen McGill, Councilman at Large Daniel Rivera, Councilwoman at Large Joyce Waterman, Councilwoman of Ward B, Mira Prince Airy, Councilman of Ward D, Michael Young, a young Councilman at Large, Juan Perez, Freeholder Captain Anthony Romano, POBA uh, Vice President Vincent Disbrow, PSO, PSOA President Robert Kearns. Now I'll ask the Mayor of the City of Jersey City to come up for his remarks. Mayor Stephen Fuller. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. So uh, first, if you could join me in just saying thank you to the council people that are sitting behind me over there. Uh, this would not be possible without their support, appropriating the dollars to make sure that we can grow the Jersey City Police Department. So I just want to say on behalf of all the residents, thank you for all that you do. And uh, if you could join me in a big appreciation, that would be great. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to take a second and uh, talk a little bit about the Jersey City Police Department and where it's come from and where we are today and the significance of the 28 new additions to the Jersey City Police Department today. Uh, when we took office in 2013, uh, Jersey City's Police Department was at 769 officers. And at the time, we had the distinction uh, being recognized nationally as the police department of a mid-size or large city that least represents the diversity in the community, which you could appreciate how significant and uh, something that we don't want to be recognized for, especially because Jersey City is recognized also as the single most diverse city in the entire country. So that disparity was something that we were very concerned about. So with the police chief and the public safety director and the city council behind me, we made a concerted effort to change that in a significant way. So over the last couple of years, with their support, we've hired more than 300 new police officers. Today, we're at close to 950 officers. And of that, I'm proud to say that 70% of them are minorities, representing the diversity that makes Jersey City special. Now, I point to those strides that have happened and, and what we're really proud of, but at the end of the day, it's really about the individuals that are sitting in that front row, because we know that they're making a career commitment to making sure that the people of Jersey City remain safe. And so before I conclude, I just really want to say thank you first and foremost to all of you sitting behind. Those are the families, the siblings, the parents, the grandparents, the spouses, because we certainly recognize that this is a commitment and a sacrifice that you collectively make that these officers in the front rows are choosing to be away from families on times that you'd often want to see them around you, whether it's holidays or weekends, Christmas at times, or Thanksgiving. And we recognize the fact that you are lending your loved ones to the citizens of Jersey City to make sure that they are safe. And so for that, we say thank you. And uh, to the new officers that are joining the best police department in the state of New Jersey, if not the pound for pound best in the country, I say uh, congratulations on this accomplishment. We look forward to a long, long successful career of all of you. And uh, we know that there are great things in store for Jersey City because of you and the things that you will be doing to make sure that our citizens are safe. So with that, congratulations and thank you for today. And to all the parents and family, congratulations again. Now we'll have Director Moody come forward to a few words. 
Good morning. Just want to take a few minutes to say congratulations to you all. Congratulations to your family. But most of all, welcome to Jersey City Finest, because I think Jersey City has the finest police officers. Remember to stay safe. Remember why you worked so hard to get through the academy and made it to this particular day. So I want to just say again, God bless you all, and welcome to Jersey City. Now we'll have remarks from the Chief of the Department, Chief Michael Kelly. Excuse my glasses. I actually prepared some comments and thoughts today. Uh, I think this is such a special group. Um, but first, let me recognize my partner in fighting crime, which is Director Moody and Public Safety Director Shea. Uh, they really uh, are behind the police department 100%, and we couldn't get anything accomplished without these two folks. So please give them a hand. I, I want to recognize uh, the two people that are closest to me in my office, uh, Captain Michael Kajewski, Captain Nick Skirbo. Uh, they, they're on my staff, and every day they remind me what the heck to do every day. I want to recognize uh, the fire chief, uh, Steve McGill. You guys are all lucky that he's not speaking today <laughs> because we would be here until 2 o'clock. So, but I want to recognize him, probably the best fire chief in the state, Steve McGill. <laughs> and uh, Greg Kearse, our OEM director, former sergeant in the Jersey City Police Department, he's the best. Greg Kearse. And of course, uh, my friend, uh, radio car partner for a long time, Captain Edgar Martinez, MC. And then finally, obviously, the uh, council behind me, they're, they're, just terrific. They're, they're just terrific folks. Forget about being a terrific council. They're just terrific people. And uh, Mayor Stephen Fulop, he is behind public safety 1,000%. Thank you, fellas. So I have a couple special things to say, uh, and the recruits, you're still recruits today until you get your shields. Most of you got a window on July 4th into the Jersey City Police Department and what a well-functioning organization we are and how professional the people are that, that you're going to join. Uh, but that being said, Mayor Fulop has big ideas for this city. And one of them is the uh, Freedom and Fireworks Festival uh, that maybe all of you attended. It was an unbelievable event with hundreds and thousands of people that the Jersey City Police Department and our law enforcement officers were tasked with defending. And uh, I can tell you, it went off without a hitch. And I, and I just have to, the people in this room that you're seeing in white shirts and blue shirts and ties, the Detective Bureau, what a tremendous job on that festival. And I just want to give you all a big thanks and shout out. Uh, I also want to recognize the month of July has not been so kind to the Jersey City Police Department. And in my tenure, we've lost three officers in the month of July. Uh, Police Officer Dominic Infantes, July of 2001. Detective Melvin Santiago, and Melvin Santiago looked like all of you folks sitting in front of me. He was a young, young police officer, and he lost his life July 13 of 2014. And then finally, uh, in the month of July, Detective uh, Mark Donardo lost his life July 21st, 2009, uh, all in gun battles. And uh, I, would, I would say just give us five seconds to just bow your heads. Thank you. Uh, let's get into the program now. I can tell you that um, my dad, who's a retired Jersey City police detective and who left this earth two years ago, anytime I asked about his friends, he would always tell me they were good cops. They were a good cop. And he would never say much more than that. And I came to learn what a good cop is. When you get the moniker that you're a good cop, it's the highest praise that anybody can give you. Good cop. And so I watched you march in 
at the Passaic County Police Academy the other night, and I saw on your faces purpose, focus, organization. Police work is not so organized. Police work is difficult. Police work is unpredictable, and police work is frustrating. But if you have the purpose to help others, and you focus on making a difference, combine that with your training, and those difficulties become manageable. Those unpredictabilities become anticipated. That frustration becomes satisfaction. You see, helping others and making a difference is about motivation. You have that motivation. You graduated from an academy at the top of your class. You have that motivation. You need to keep that motivation throughout your career, not just today. You need to be motivated every single day because that's what makes a good cop. So let's talk about the three musts to be a good cop. You have to be humble. You have to be humble because it takes a lot of somebodies to make something happen. There's somebody to chase the bad guy down, and somebody to put handcuffs on them, and somebody to search them, and somebody to transport them, and somebody to do the paperwork. You have to be humble. This is a team effort. There are no stars. You have to be helpful. You have to be helpful, especially to the vulnerable citizens that you're going to deal with on a daily basis. You also have to be helpful to the cops that you're working with. I'll give you an example. Uh, the night of your graduation, I was driving home about 10 p.m., and I had to make a car stop. Now, I haven't made a car stop in over 10 years. It's an unbelievable feeling to hear the sirens in the background. Everybody that wanted to be helpful was there in seconds. That is a characteristic and a trait of the Jersey City Police Department. And last, to be a good cop, you have to be honest. You have to be honest. You have to control and treat that badge like the shining thing it is today that we give you. To this end, your honesty and your badge is everything. It's everything that you have. And so, I tell you, as we take leave today, if you're humble, you're helpful, and you're honest, and you're motivated to make a difference, my father told me that you'd be a good cop. Good luck to you all. Thank you, Chief. Mayor, Public Safety Director, Director, Chief, please come forward for the oath of office. Police officer Josue Pichardo and his fiancee Carol Torres, please come forward, hold the Bible. Everyone, raise your right hand. Please repeat after me. I say the name. I do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I'll support the Constitution of the United States. I the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. They'll bear true faith. And bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the government established. To the government established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. Justly, justly perform all the
all the duties. As a police officer. As a police officer. The Jersey City Police Department. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Police officer, Josue Pichardo. Police officer, Garuf Pohar. Police officer, Camille Reyes Orozco. Police officer Nicholas Romanello. Police officer Miguel Prieto. Police officer Carlos Zabaleta Jr. He joins his sister Renee Zabaleta on the job. Police officer Jonathan Romanello, brothers. Police officer Ashley Delaney, daughter of retired Deputy Chief Joseph Delaney, and also his, her uncle is here today from the fire department, Chief Delaney. Officer Christopher Cruz. Officer Joseph Facone. <laughs> Officer Josue Martinez. Officer Franklin Peralta. Yeah. Officer Shante Harmerfula. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Samantha Camacho. <laughs> Officer Andrew Martinez. <laughs> Officer Carolos Nassim. Officer Richard Gomez. <laughs> Officer Devin McCabe. Officer Christopher Podera. Christopher, 
Officer Michael Martucci. Officer Jose Esposito. <laughs> Officer Mark Faulkner. Officer Maximiliano Rosati. <laughs> Officer Jonathan Nace. Officer Anthony Janelle. <laughs> Officer Gregory DuBruce. <laughs> Officer Gilbert Beniquez. He joins his two brothers on the job, Jonathan and Joshua, and he is the nephew of retired captain of state police, former sheriff, former Jersey City Police Deputy Director, and Bayonne Councilman at Large, Juan Perez. And police officer, Jonathan Bailey. He, he has an uncle and a cousin on the job, Kevin and Chris Hill. Congratulations to the new police officer. On behalf of the class, we would like to thank Mayor Fulop, Public Safety Director Shea, Police Director Moody, our council members, Chief Kelly, and staff, for we wouldn't be here without you. Every one of us being sworn in today remembers how amazing it felt to receive that acceptance letter in the mail. How exciting we were that out of so many, we have been selected. Then came the Academy. We endured trials and hardships that most of us were not used to. Just when we thought the physical and mental pressure was at its peak, the challenge would only get harder. I'm sure we all remember one of the lines commonly heard from the training staff was, if you can't handle it, then quit now, because this, just, this is just the beginning, and it's not cut out for everyone. Most of us knew that we weren't just anyone. We, we knew why we were here. Over time, the stress, the hardships, and training began to make sense. And those of us who were able to overcome sit here today. We grew as a team and were molded into police officers with a courageous mindset. A mindset where, when we are tired, we choose to push through. When we are afraid, we overcome that fear and drive on. When we feel beaten and it feels like we might not have anything left, we summon the courage to stand up and continue, like during OC Spray Day. As we wear this uniform, we must remember that we are swearing to serve and protect our communities, as well as each other. Integrity is described as the ability to do what's right, especially when no one is watching. We must remember that integrity is about believing in the true value of the uniform 
and not just the power it contains. To be able to dissolve our personal biases and to understand and to listen to our community. I have known every single person graduating today throughout the academy, and some have been lifelong friends. All I can say is that I am proud to know I will be serving with individuals who understand that now we are brothers and sisters, united by a duty to serve and to always have each other's six. The essential point to be made here is that a law enforcement officer will, at times, at some point or another, be called upon to do the unthinkable, though we probably will never believe so or perceive ourselves in such a light we will be heroes in our own right and be called upon to perform deeds that few will ever understand, appreciate, or even be able to perform themselves. Always remember why you became officers. Always remember who we protect and how we pray that we make it home each day. Always remember that our duty is not to ourselves but to each other and that we all want the same thing, whether in or out of uniform. Safety, trust, accountability, and integrity. We live in one of the most diverse cities with a department to match. Let's make those we, feel, we serve feel welcome to share their concerns and fears with us. Let's police with a duty to make an example of the possibilities that come when, when police departments look like their communities and are in, in harmony with their communities. This is the mindset that the JCPD class should strive to maintain as we begin our careers as police officers, because great men and women before us have set the example that we should follow. Thank you, Sergeant Perez, Lieutenant Torres, and the whole of the background unit for their dedicated efforts in making the class run smoothly. We express our utmost appreciation and gratitude to all of our academy instructors, especially Jersey City Finest, Detective Sanchez, Sergeant Arroyo, Officer Aponte, Officer Vieira, and Officer Kang, who committed themselves to making us the kind of officers that JCPD can be proud of. Officers who know, that, who know what it means to serve, to sacrifice, and to overcome. And lastly, we want to thank our families and friends for standing by with support and love for these last long, very, very long six months. This wouldn't be the same without your encouragement and unconditional love. Thank you.